the sailing teams to take their final steps on dry land for the foreseeable future in front of the huge crowd that has gathered on the dock. Amongst the spectators are the sailors' friends and family, trying to keep a brave face as they wave their loved ones goodbye. The gunner's gone, the start of the Volvo Ocean Race. Well, these boats are flying, Jerry. <laughs> a, a very fond farewell, it's been a fantastic uh, experience here. And each time we open the hatch, we just get flooded with more water. So now we've hopefully solved the problem and uh, we'll be able to uh, take us into to Auckland. In one uh, we need Auckland, no Auckland no and uh, New Zealand is a special uh, country uh, with a lot of fans of, uh, of sailors. We're in Nard Bank and in slow motion. You saw the mast fall over the side. In the process of cutting away the mainsail, I managed to cut my wrist. The knife had gone into the wrist and I had to pull the knife back out. So And here she comes, Group Armour sailed a lovely race over the line. Yeah. Victory for Frank Thomas and his team. We're trying to leave Brazil, but we're on our way to Miami now. As we come up to the gun, this is leg seven, and it's a clear start for the fleet. by the Group Armour team. It's Group Armour claiming their second import race win, stretching their overall lead to eight points. They're all heading out there now. As they wind up over the line, in contention there, certainly Group Armour. As we come to the finish line, of this uh, amazing import race. Oh, I've seen a great race. The Group Amar take this one out and they will be delighted. The champagne moment on board Group Amar, absolutely extraordinary. Dream. It's a, it's an adult's dream. Winning this race, I, I didn't think about that never. So, for sure, it's an incredible day for me.